Hello, and welcome to Morfolio Trace. In this video, we'll introduce Smooth Curves, your new best friend that offers the smoothness control of a million brushes all in one tool. From the broad stroke of a paintbrush to the delicacy of a pencil drawing, this tool will help you make gorgeous drawings with perfectly smooth curves. Let's get started. The smooth curve feature is located over in your brush toolbar. If your brush toolbar is closed, all you have to do is open it up. And at the bottom, you'll see that there is this new three dot button. And when you tap that, that will open up your brush settings. You have your opacity slider to change the opacity of your brush. And then you also have this brand new smoothness slider. And this allows you to make your curves as smooth or as realistic as you would like them all the way up to 100 or down to zero and everywhere in between. And as you move the smoothness slider up and down, you'll see the preview adjusts at the top. And you can also test out your own lines so you can see how they adapt to this smoothness. So if we turn it all the way up to 100, we're in this amazing drawing by Amin. And if we now want to add in a curve here to complete this drawing, you can see, get a perfectly smooth curve and you can really create some incredible artwork and drawings with this amazing new tool. So let's take a look at how different settings can be used for different types of drawings in different situations. There are a lot of situations where you want to use the smooth curve feature just to kind of get the jitter or maybe the, the coffee shakes out of your your curves and you can do that if you set the smooth curve from anywhere between five percent all the way up to 30. that'll just help get the edge off your line you can see here moving from kind of jagged pointed edges to a little more refined a little more smoothness within your stroke but it still gives you the realistic feel of the the brush and the tool that you have set so this can be really helpful as you're drawing and sketching. Um, maybe you're adding some notes like this drawing by Bob, and you can see that if we wanna create a smooth curve, we can do it really easily. Um, and it just helps get the, the edge off of your drawing. And just like that, you can add in a ton of beautiful annotation curves to your architectural drawing. Another example of how this can be useful is if you're drawing vegetation. In this case, this interior design sketch by Carmen. We can, again, set our adjustment. We will go up to 30 for this one to get a little bit more smooth. And you can see how if I take off this little edge, you can see how it's subtle, but it, it gives you just enough to start getting a little bit more smoothness out of your curves, especially if you have kind of shaky hands, which can happen when you have too much coffee. Um, if you bump that up a little bit, you can see how it's starting to just take the edge off and allows you to draw a little bit more smoothly. And you can see here in this drawing by Carmen, I can add in another flower here and get these really elegant petals and create an entire drawing with this really helpful tool. Here's another example of a landscape drawing. And here we wanna fill in the rest of this tree here. So you can see that sometimes if you're adding some bumps, you can just kind of smooth again, smoothing off the edge there to make it a little more refined, but you still get the realisticness of your brush setting. And now when I add in these little bumps for the tree, I'm able to create a really beautiful drawing and just take the edge off, take the jitter out of the line. Now the next zone of the smooth curve feature between 30 and 70% smoothness is really great for precision curves. In the middle range here, this is where you can start to really control your curves in a more precise way. And this can be really helpful for a lot of different situations. So if we turn it up to 70, we have this industrial sketch here by Guillaume. And you'll see that I can go in and add curve here and I really get perfect precision. Let's just like take a look at if I leave this off, you can see with the same stroke, all of those, those shakes that I'm getting, but here I get a really elegant, smooth curve and can create gorgeous industrial design drawings. This is something that we're really excited about is for our industrial designers that are using the app can really take their drawings to the next level. 
And if you're enjoying this opportunity to learn about the brand new features in Morfolio Trace in this video, please give it a quick like and subscribe to our channel so you can stay tuned for all of the latest and most exciting tips, tricks, and brand new features that we're releasing. Really appreciate your support. Another great use of this range, again, from kind of 30 to 70%, maybe we'll jump it down just to 60 for this one, is when you're drawing a pathway, especially for in landscape design or, or if you're drawing a site plan, you can really get much more precision over your curves and even straight lines as you are moving around a plan and drawing um, a landscape plan or a site plan like this beautiful one by Bolt. Another situation where this 30 to 70% can really be helpful, we'll bump up to 70 for this one, is if you're drawing an architecture uh, drawing and again, you want a little more precision over your curves. Let's say I did this just on regular. You can see, it can get pretty good, but I'm, I'm getting the shakes in there. And when I bump this up, even to 65 here, watch how much better control. And you can see the line is slowly adjusting to my curve and my hand. And I can go quickly and I can still get a really beautiful, elegant curve to create this drawing by Carmen that was inspired by Stuart. Now the next level of hyper control is really great for industrial design, for uh, art, and, and when you're sketching something or even in interior design, when you're drawing a perspective and you wanna create something that's really soft or really has a, a curve that you just really wanna be able to bend and lean into really heavily. So that is that upper range from 70 to 100%. Way up here, again, this is where the line starts and up in this range, you can really get a lot of precision. What that allows you to do is to draw much more slowly with your curves and allows you to get much more precision. So you can see how I can draw slow and I'm able to get the exact curvature of the, uh, the line that I want and create some beautiful industrial design sketches like this one by Rodrigo. This tool is also super helpful for if you're working on an interior design sketch and you have some furniture or pillows or whatever it is, and you really wanna be able to draw a really smooth, elegant curve. Look at the, the slowness that I can go and really just get that perfect curvature that I'm looking for around here. And again, if we drop that all the way down to without smoothness I can still get a pretty good line but you can see how I'm, I'm really struggling to get that amount of smoothness and you can see how shaky my line is but once you once you bring it all the way up past 70 up to even 100 you really can see how you can shape and get a beautiful elegant curve and as I mentioned, this, this tool is really helpful when you're drawing figures or any sort of art practice as well, where you want some more control over the, the curves and the bends that you're creating. So here again, I'm turning all the way up to 100 to really maximize that curvature that I'm drawing. And now when I draw, I can really just get a, a beautiful, elegant bend, in this case for the neck, and create gorgeous figure drawings, portraits, whatever it is that you're doing, you can create it all with the smooth curve feature. And that's it. We can't wait to see what you create with the new smooth curve feature. When you share your work, be sure to tag Morfolio and use the hashtag MorfolioTrace so we can find your work. And we can't wait to see what you make with this brand new feature.